Hi, let's uh, look at an example here of how we can bring a, um, a link DWG file, um, as you can see here, with a uh, series of vertical lines in, 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 in the x-axis. Um, we're going to basically uh, link that into, into Revit 2010, and using the new um, massing tools, create a surface based on the, these vertical poles. So let's just switch over to Revit, and we're going to insert and linked CAD file. Let's find our linked file that we're going to bring in, you saw in the previous AutoCAD window. Uh, we'll bring it black and white, um, all layers, millimeters, and center to center, and we'll open that. And you can see when I bring it in, actually on plan view, you don't see anything because it's obviously those vertical lines, um, and because there's they're actual lines and there's no geometry, you can obviously don't see them. So let's pop the uh, uh, 3D view up, and now you can see the link DWG. If we select it, you can see there it, it tells me it's a, an imported link DWG. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, um, we're going to go to massing um, in in place mass, and you get the normal warning message about not being able to see the mass, so it needs to enable that so you can actually see it. Uh, we'll close that, and then we're just going to call a new uh, mass, we're just going to call it surface. Okay, so once we've done that, um, we're going to use um, a reference line. Okay, and I'm actually going to use a spline passing through points. So as long as um, I use that, I can actually snap to the end of these uh, DWG lines here. Okay, so we're just going to keep uh, snapping on to the end of the DWG lines. Just take a little time for me to uh, work my way through these. Okay, and just coming through here, almost there. And then we'll do this last one here. Okay, so once we've done that, if we go to modify, what we'll do is holding uh, the control key down, we'll select all these splines. Okay, and we can come along here and we can choose create form. And that will um, that will uh, sort of create a splined or NURB type surface based um, on those um, those splined lines that you can see. So we can take it a little bit further, we can select it. Okay, and you'll notice when I select it, I you know, so, so you don't get the subdivision tools. So if you slab, select it and then tab select it, you'll then get the divide tools. And we're just gonna naturally divide it um, based on 10 by 10. And we can come along here uh, with our surface representation. And I'm just gonna put the original surface back on with, with the node points. So you just sort of see what's going on here. Go. So if we could take it a little bit further, we could select it, and, and we could actually add a pattern. Okay, but we're going we're gonna to leave it like that now for the time being. I'm just going to switch back to AutoCAD, and I'm going to start to make some changes in that AutoCAD file. So to select this, we're going to increase the length of this pole here, come along here and increase the length of this one, uh, and marginally just, we'll be a little bit extreme with that one there. Okay, and then finally we'll pick this one here, and just adjust that. Now if I save that file, it's obviously updated that DWG. If I switch back to Revit, okay, and we finish our mass, we obviously get a warning message saying, you know, it, it obviously can't create solid geometry, it's got a surface there, so it can't do the, the normal typical floor plates cuts that you might be associated with, with Revit when you're doing masses, because effectively this is a surface. And then what we're gonna do back now, if we go back to managed, uh, I'm going to manage links, and um, we'll pretty pick that DWG up, and we're going to effectively reload that DWG. So just come along here and reload it. And when we do that, you can see um, in the background here, it actually updated uh, the geometry based on that DWG. So all those vertical points that you saw are attached to the lines have actually adjusted uh, to, to the to the. To the surface there so that's a that's a really useful technique so i hope you found that uh, technique useful and uh, you're able to utilize it in your projects